Hi guys, Jeb here with Conestoga Manure Spreaders. I uh, wanted to take some time today and go over a couple of measurements and what actually fits in our spreaders. We get asked all the time how many wheelbarrows, how many bushels, or how many, uh, this is another comment we run into, muck tubs. Uh, so we'll be going over exactly how many of each you can fit in the 25. We'll also have the C80, the PTO edition measured. That way you have some reference point there between the two. Of course we have other models, but these are two popular models that we get asked about. Uh, what I have here is a bushel. It's not a bushel basket. I uh, figured a basket would probably break, so we have a, a galvanized container there that we'll be using. Uh, it is one bushel, thanks to uh, Ace Hardware. Same here, we got the muck tub. This is bigger than a bushel. I believe it's about twice the size. Um, I don't know if there's a, an official difference between the two of them. It just looks like the conversions are about twice the amount of, of that bushel. And then here we have a wheelbarrow. This is just a generic. I got the most generic wheelbarrow I could find. Uh, it's six cubic foot from Ace Hardware. Hopefully that's close to what you have. You may have a bigger one if you've got the dual wheels on the front, or you may have a smaller one if it's more shallow. The older metal style tend to be that way. Uh, again, this is rough estimates for each of them. These do have, there are conversions that we could run that you could figure out close to what, what it would be, but we want to see in person and do it ourselves to see actually what would fit in this spreader. So if you want to follow along, we'll test the bushels first, see what, see how many bushels we can fit in this 25, we'll pull it and spread it, and then same thing with the muck tub and same thing with the wheelbarrow. Alright, so we've done our bushels, uh, we figured out that it holds about 15 bushels if you sort of heap it, but not packing it in, not, not letting it tumble out. You could have fit more, but we just decided, I mean, that's pretty much a rounded number for you. Uh, 15 and then if you really wanted to heap it. This is uh, real manure. This isn't horse manure with shavings mixed in, this is tough stuff. So. We can see a couple of things here. How high can we heap it? Uh, I'm gonna see if I can fit more bushels of this hard, this is what they call pen pack manure. Really hard stuff. See how many I can fit in here and heap it as full as I can. finished filling it up um, and you can see right in here so we've heaped everything pretty good you could obviously fit more here if you're really patient uh, it's gonna be quicker to take this one out and run another load uh, we get a little bit of this tumbling effect in the back here the piece that would help us there is actually the end gate we wanted to test to see how many wheelbarrows fit in the 25 uh, this wheelbarrow is six cubic foot. You can see we filled it average. You could heap it more, you could heap it less. Now this manure is pretty wet, it's pretty heavy. So the wheelbarrow is having a little bit of uh, moaning and groaning going on. Uh, we are gonna push it up the ramp one way or another. I'm gonna have Kevin actually help me just to make sure I don't A, flip it, uh, which would be embarrassing, and uh, B, to make sure that the wheelbarrow doesn't break. So Kevin, if you wanna jump in here. That works. There's one load. Let's see how many we can fit. We have five loads in here. You can see I spilled a little bit. That's my fault. Uh, it's nice, easy to easy to heat, easy to scoop. Great manure. This is shaving manure, uh, just for reference if you have any of that. It's been sitting for a while, so it's really broken down. Um, five times six cubic foot would be 30 cubic foot. Uh, I would say this is a very comfortable 25 cubic foot spreader. If you heap it just right, you can get a little bit more in it. If you heap it just wrong, you'll make a mess. So far, we have worked with a wheelbarrow, a bushel, and a muck bucket. Um, we're going to see how these all equate to each other. I believe that the muck bucket is about two bushels. 
this might be two muck buckets. So we're just gonna find out. That way we have some facts. Again, uh, it's, this is all subject to how full you heap it and that kind of stuff, but this is meant to be helpful to kind of show you how much goes into each. So let's fill them up and see what we got. Discovered a couple things here. Two bushels will fit in this muck bucket. Uh, it's a little bit full, so I had to push it down a little bit, no problem, not a big deal. Um, so that's a one to two, and then we fit two muck buckets in this, so we have one times two times two, so this would be approximately uh, four bushels. So anyway, uh, let's use that for some equations, that way we don't have to use every last piece every time. We'll see how many of these now fit into an 80. measurement we're going to do here is how many bushels fit in the bucket of the tractor and then of course how many buckets fit the spreader that's important as well. We've got our bushel basket here. We're going to start filling. Uh, as you can see we fit four bushels in here. Uh, you can tell I can fit more in here but per scoop for the tractor you're probably not going to be able to heat it perfectly. Excuse me, depends totally on your patience and what you like to do. So, uh, four bushels per scoop. Let's see how many scoops, likewise, go into the spreaders. So we've got the 80 here, we've got it loaded full. Uh, we fit in here 10 wheelbarrow loads. Uh, that was 10 really average wheelbarrow loads. Again, it's about six cubic foot per load. That would give us 60 cubic foot. Um, we probably heaped a little bit, probably could have heaped this a little bit more. Uh, you can see there's variance. I mean, obviously you can fit another uh, little bit in this area. And then towards the back here, you can see I could have kept this heap full. It, it's all on how much you have patience for. Um, obviously nobody's gonna take more than, uh, more, more time than is necessary and just waste it on trying to see how much you can fit. Usually it's more about what's efficient. That's what we're trying to, trying to get to here. All right, so I hope this video is helpful, gave you a couple of takeaways. Hopefully there's at least one measurement that it relates to how you're loading things. Of course, we have a variety of spreaders. We've got uh, all kinds of different options that can work with different setups as far as your tractor or your pulling vehicle. Uh, if you have any questions on that, feel free to check out uh, some of our other videos or to our website to research uh, what would be the best spreader for your pulling vehicle. As always, thanks for watching and happy spreading.